immigrants, they come here and then what they do is they, uh, they've been shit on the beaches. <laughs> It's a thing, it's a whatever, right? They come here, and, and white people are upset, right? White people are upset, right? Because they have, they got the waterfront property, right? And then they, what, what the hell is that? Who's that, what, is that guy taking a shit right there? And the issue is they can't do anything about it, right? They can't really bring it up at the, at the town hall meeting. Right, they can't show up and be like, uh, excuse me, that Indians are on the beaches. Can we, can we get a handle on this? They can't say that because it's racist. Saga Beach, right? I don't know why brown parents would love this place so much. It is so dirty, man. It's probably the most dirtiest beach I've ever seen in the whole entire world, bro. There's seaweeds coming out, there's insects that come on you, and there's people that pee and poop in that beach, man. Like, especially a lot of the new guys that come here in Canada, man. Y'all gotta stop that. And brown parents, bro, y'all gotta stop being obsessed with this place, bro. We took me two hours to come here, bro. I had to swim in that, bro, and I will never swim in that pool. I will never swim in Bosega Beach even for 10K, bro. It is that bad, bro. It's not worth coming here, bro, especially if you live far. A couple of days ago, I published what is quite easily the most controversial video so far for this channel. In case you missed that video, you'll find a link to it in the show notes. The vast majority of viewers got behind the video, over 90% to be exact. But there were some very vocal opponents asking for proof. They want to see actual footage of the act of people defecating on a beach taking place. To that I say, be very careful what you wish for, you just might get it. Pro-immigration sentiment in Canada is in decline. Massive decline. If you really want people to start filming the actual act of defecating on a beach and posting it all over social media, you'll likely get exactly what you're asking for. That 50 to 60% of people who are now opposed to immigration, well, you can count on that stat climbing quite significantly afterwards. While debates and differing views are always a sign of a healthy democracy, the immigration question is also exposing a very disturbing aspect of political discussions in Canada. That would be the left and its attempts to silence the opposition. A large part of these critics trying to silence the right are not even from Canada. They refuse to take ownership for their community's behavior, and rather than do their level best to fix the problem, they try to bury it in the sand. Doesn't help when they also have the backing of affluent white leftist kids from the suburbs who feel guilty about the fact that they were born as affluent white kids from the burbs and they're desperately looking to compensate for it through social justice engineering. Just leave it to the privileged police to do everything in their power to discredit a reality their simple little belief systems can't process. God forbid these woke little guardians should ever read, or for that matter, travel. Their entire existence is predicated on the belief that the world is a cruel, unfair place, but they, with the help of social media, can fix all that. But this is a matter that deserves its own conversation, and we'll come back to that in another video. Right now, I'd like to focus on someone who is approaching the matter properly. I featured Gary on this channel before, and it wasn't in the most favorable light, largely because of this intro to one of his previous videos. All you white people in Canada, I have something to say to you. If you want the full roll through on that one, check out the show notes for the link to that video. This poop on the beach story, however, got back to Gary, and in this case, he nailed it spot on. You Indians that are pooping on the beaches, I know it's happening. Otherwise, so many people across all the beaches won't be complaining. I also know that you are a very small minority, probably less than 5% of us. But you 5% have become very problematic for all of us. Because the fact is that 95% of us Indians are very thankful to be in this country, are very respectful of Canadian culture and values. We've worked very hard to put together a decent life, and we want to contribute something positive back to this society. But you 5% keep embarrassing us in public. Every time you do something stupid and a person from a different community looks at you, he thinks it's probably part of their culture. Your stupidity overshadows all the good we do. You are not an accurate representation of our community. Look guys, you got to have some civic sense. The core values of this country are of acceptance and tolerance, but it can only be to a certain extent. It's time you get better, only then you can expect better. I, for one, would never be able to confirm how accurate Gary's 5% figure is. Is it really 5%? Could it be higher? Who knows? But it all boils down to perception in the end. 5% can easily look like 50% when something goes viral on social media. And when a story goes hyper viral like this one has, trying to silence it is useless, especially now that mainstream media is seizing on third-party media 
to shield themselves from scorn. An example of this would be the Toronto Sun covering this story. My heart goes out to the hardworking Indians who have to pay the price for the few who engage in this kind of nefarious behavior. But as much as that might be the case, doesn't mean we're going to stop talking about it. The left can go ahead and try to silence the right and dismiss its concerns as outright lies. But that's not going to hurt the right. It's only going to empower it. If a group starts feeling that no one is hearing them, that their concerns are being neglected, you can bet they will be emboldened come election day. So let us know what you think. Sound off in comments. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't done so already.